We are at the Glow Summer 22 meetup at William Heiss Park in Julian. And it is beautiful, but it has been a little toasty at some times. And if you have solar, you kind of need to park in the sun to get your solar. So that's where a good awning comes in. But those awnings can be $800, $1,000 or more. And you all that know me know that I am a frugal, I'm going to use that term, but frugal person. So, of course, you know who I hit up was Tim from Mo Bang for Your Bucks to figure out a way to build an inexpensive awning. And this is it. So, we're going to interview Tim and see his DIY inexpensive awning. So, come on. Let's go check it out. Tim! Hi, girl. Uh, I call you, instead of um, Bob the Builder, I call you Tim the Builder. Because every time you come to a meetup, I told you, Tim, could you please, or I asked you, could you please bring your tools and you fix my bed and you fix someone else's uh, cabinet so they're not moving all around. Oh my goodness. But today you're going to show how you are doing an awning on the cheap. And what do you have and what do you need for your awning? Okay, you're going to need a 911 uh, tarp that I bought. 9 by 11 and that's okay. I and bought this from uh, Harbor Freight for like $12. Okay, so 9 by 11 tarp and I see it's a medium strength or medium size. Yeah, and these, I made it myself. It's, so that's paracord? Yeah. Uh, you can buy a roll this from Home Depot for mm -hmm. like maybe $4. Okay. But the, you're going to need these. You're going to need four strands of this. Which four strands of these that? These are custom made. Uh, they call it guy wire. Okay. You will see it once I put it up. Okay. Then you're going to need a 20. And this is from Amazon. And what, what are those stakes? These are, these are awning stakes. Okay. And how many do you have of those? Only two. It comes with two. Okay. And this is like $19.99 on Amazon. Okay. And you're going to need a couple of... Uh, bungee cords? Bungee cords. Okay. And those are how long? About 10 inches? 12 inches? Mm, yeah, 12 inches. Okay. Then buy these uh, four stacks. You can buy these from uh, Oh, you can get those Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, you can get those Walmart. Yeah, don't go cheap. Buy these metal ones. Okay. They last forever. Okay. And then these are optional. Uh, it's just to tuck... Extra those are, what are those are those called clips? What are those called? Yeah, they they called clip. Okay, so so they, basically you have one, two, three, four, five, six different products there. The main, these are optional. You can use hammer and. You know. Okay, so let's see how you're going to do it. So explain to us how you're going to do this. Well, you're going to have to lay out the tarp over the hatch of the vehicle. So okay right now, now why did you decide to do it in the back instead of on the side actually i can do it on the side also oh okay but you're just doing it in the yeah, back this today is more it give you more room okay you open up your hatch back here all my cooking equipment right here i just transfer it out here and by the way we're going to do a tour of tim's minivan too so stay tuned for that but right now okay so let's see how you lay the tarp out yeah i'm going to put the hatch that will make it easy to put on the top okay Oh, I forgot to show these too. You need uh, four of these. You can what are, get what these. What are those? They just bungee, but it's a okay. different way, easy to hook up. Oh, okay. So they, they adjust? No, they don't, but it's easy to loop. You will see why it's easy to use this one. Okay, so they're bungees with that you can loop. Yep. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six different products you need. Four. Actually, only four in there. So you're taking this and you're gonna put it. It's gonna go over onto the. If you don't have uh, a rack like that, you can only get the magnet. Oh, okay. So you're putting it over your rack, but if you don't yeah. have a rack, you could get the magnets, and you have some magnets that also have hooks if you yeah. want. I put the tip because these are very strong. And okay. Once you put down, it's hard to pull up. So unless you have something to slide them off. Oh, so okay, it okay. Scratch your paint. You see. Very All strong, right. so it's easier to peel them off. Oh, so okay. See that? So is that double-sided tape? Yeah, just just packing tape, that's so you a, don't scratch your vehicle. That's a smart tip. You know, it's hard. Look, 
I cannot lift it up. But right. I can slide it off. Right. Okay. It's easier to slide than to lift. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And we'll ask you what kind of tape you used. We'll get. Maybe you can show us the tape. Just Do you have regular uh, packing tape? Oh. Okay. All right. You know me. I'm only going the cheapest way. Whatever <laughs> works. A man after my own heart. The cheapest way. Okay, so let's see how you're going to do this. Okay, I'm going to lay it out flat first. These two middle will go onto the rack. Okay, so you laid it out long ways, okay. You probably come to the tire and show you okay. how I loop it. See how I'm here? Go around. Oh, okay, so you loop that around and it holds on that ball. Yep. Okay. It ain't going nowhere. And then you do the same on the other side. So now you have the tarp secured there. Yep. Wow, that's easy. All right, lay them down. So this is where the bungee, the other bungee come in. It will attach to this. You can do it on a wheel well. Since this have no hook, you could use the hook one to go straight to the wheel well. Okay. But I use this. Oh, okay. Oh, and then you do that just on the other side too. Yep. So All the right. will not pick it up. It's like four anchor in front. Okay. Ready for the stake and just okay. lay them out over here. So you need to be obviously somewhere where you have some dirt behind you or on the side of you. Just so you're using four stakes? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna put one just like straight to the vehicle. Kind of line it up like that. Okay. And I'm not too worried. I'm gonna do the other two later. You just need two to start with. So I wanna see how you're gonna do this. <laughs> This is where these cork come in. Oh, okay. So that's why I have four of these. Now, do they have loops on the end, did you say? I made it myself. Okay, so you, oh, okay, so you made it, is that called a slip knot or what is that called? Is See, you, you can slide it, but it won't come loose. Okay, okay. I don't See know that? what it's called. Anyone who knows what this is called, put it in the comments. I think See? it's a slip knot or something. Okay, but it's an adjustable knot. Oh, this one is the one that's gonna go to the pole. This one is sort of adjustable one. It won't go. Okay. But you can slide it. Oh, it. okay. You can buy stuff that have already made for you, but why? Yeah, I think myself. I might have to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, just slide easy. Okay. All right, let's see what you're gonna do with those. Well, right now, not yet. We have to assemble that uh, stick, okay? the four awning stick. Okay. They just snap in together, it's not that, that complicated. See how the head end like that? You want that on the top. Okay. So, you so what end do you want on top? See that, that metal piece already? Right oh, you see once I put it together. Okay, so the metal piece you want on the top? Yeah. Okay. That's five pieces for each side. Okay. You just slide in together. So once you get to the fifth one, uh -huh. find the one with a metal, uh, plastic end. Okay, and, and that's the one last one. The yep. Okay. Then we just repeat to this side. All right, and we'll come back after yep. he's got that together. The stack already. Okay. You're gonna hook this up. Take the rope with you. In this case, mm -hmm. it's odd, so I double them up. So the hole is not correct. I'm gonna redo it myself. And so right now so you said you you could get a nine by a smaller one. Yeah, a smaller. One. What would this? This is nine eleven, so you can get a one for nine nine. Okay, so you double it up because it was a little bit wide. Okay, and you hook that down there. Yeah, oh, the okay. Quick one is the very first one, so it's helpful. You have another person holding on it. Oh, okay. If not, well, well, I can't hold it and and video, unfortunately. 
once one has come up, then the rest is easy. Right? Okay. Sorry about my camera work. I'm trying to walk backwards and get all of this. <laughs> Now you're putting the other side together. Yeah, once you got a couple on, it's pretty tight. Okay. So you adjust this, adjust it so it tightens. You adjust that so it tightens it. This is where you adjust it. Then how do you get the center part, because it's dipping there. How do you get the center part up? You will see. Okay, I'm like, that's a nice tarp, but I'd have to sit down. I couldn't. No, 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 no. It will come together. All right, all right. I'm trusting Tim says it's going to come together because uh, this is kind of a, uh, I don't know, Tim. I have faith in you, though. I'm right just. Right now, if I bring it up, it's going to be falling down. Okay. So once you have four, four of these sticks, then you can open up the head. Oh, okay. Almost done. One minute. Okay. So you just have then, you've got three stakes here. You're going to add one more stake yep. here. Okay. We'll come back after he gets that fourth stake and show you what else he's going to do. All four stake now. That's when you adjust. See, you can see right now this one's loose. Okay. You want to tie it up until it's tight, tight. Oh, so that's why you have it like that. So you can, and once you adjust it, it doesn't move? Nope. Okay. So, right so now you I'm go not going to tie it yet because... You need some room in here. Okay. See how it's... I see, so you're opening up that back. Well, this is what it looks like when it's done. Let me come stand under here and see if I can... How many people will this take? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Wow, now it he has... It could be wider because I kind of zoom them in. I can, if right. I want to wider, I just spray it out a stick. Right, more stakes are made and wider, or you can have it more narrow. And now, can you take this one down over this side so you can see, you've eclipsed it so you can get in and out, but you can have it down yep. and you can have even more shade on the side. Shade, yeah. Wow, and this, you did this for, you said, right around $50, all the parts. The tarp was about 12, the poles were 20, the paracord you said was, what, five? Yeah. And then the stakes are about two dollars each, and then you've got your um, your bungee cord. But you said you don't have to have the one with the ball here. You can get a cheaper a one, a regular one. one. So, oh my gosh! So fifty dollars, and without the time that we took um, in between takes, it's what about ten minutes? And but the if you have one thing is, it's so small it fit under my basement. Oh yeah, you fold it up and it, I saw it fit it, it fit right under there. Yeah, I have a little basket to fit in there so it doesn't take any room in the van. Wow, yeah. wow. So there you have it, an under $50 tarp that turns into an awning instead of an $800. I mean, it's not electric, it's not all fancy, but it does the job and you can do it on the side too. Keep the rain out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tim, and we're going to come do a tour, so if you want to see a tour of his van, his minivan, can you see how cool he has this set up, even his little garage? So we'll come back and see that. Stay tuned. The next video, we'll be doing Tim's minivan tour. And could you tell everyone your channel again? I am Tim. My channel is Mall Bank. For your bucks. For your bucks. For your bucks. So go over and check out Tim's channel because he's always, he is always showing you how to do something interesting, amazing on the cheap. So, all right, Tim, we'll see you in a little while when we do the tour of your van. Bye bye.